Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. One of the most common questions I get asked is how do I become a real estate agent? So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be explaining the steps and the processes required to become an estate agent. So if you are considering becoming a real estate agent, grab your notebook and let's get into it. Becoming an estate agent today is not as easy as it was 10 years ago. So I'm going to start by covering all the jargon and what it means, the costs involved in becoming a real estate agent, the basic requirements and qualifications you will need to become a real estate agent. All right. Let's start off with the most common terms and jargon that you will come across in the real estate industry. So I'm sure if you Googled how to become a real estate agent, you would have come across words like EAAB, NQF4, NQF5, PDE, and FFC. And that's usually the part where you just close the tab and forget about it. Okay, so let me break down these words for you. EAAB is the Estate Agency Affairs Board. This is the company responsible for regulating the activities of estate agents. NQF is the National Qualifications Framework. That's a system we use to record our qualifications and the number is the level of the qualification. PDE is the Professional Designation Examination and this is the test that all real estate agents have to go through to test their knowledge. And lastly, FFC is your Fidelity Fund Certificate. This is essentially your license to be a real estate agent. Okay, so now that we have the jargon out the way, let's actually get into the process of becoming a real estate agent. First of all, you need to apply for an intern at an estate agency that you want to work for. I always recommend applying for an internship with an agency in an area that you live in. The reason for this is that you will be doing a lot of traveling, going to viewings, going to list properties, taking clients to view the properties. You'll also be doing a lot of canvassing and marketing in the area that you're working in. And you need to be available at the drop of a hat for your clients. So make sure that you do some research in your area. And based on that, you can make a decision of which estate agencies would suit you best. Choosing the right estate agency is where you can make or break your career. You need to choose an estate agency that is going to support you. You need to make sure that they're going to help develop your skills, give you the proper training that you need. And unfortunately, there aren't a lot of estate agencies that are going to hire an intern and pay them a basic salary. Because most estate agents only earn a commission and this commission is earned only once a property has been successfully sold. And earning that first commission can take sometimes up to three months to even a year. So when you're starting off, you may need to be prepared to not have an income for at least three months. And this is one of the biggest challenges all estate agents face when they start in the industry. But with the right support, some dedication and determination, you can make sales and earn that commission. All right, so once you have identified a few estate agencies that you'd be interested in working for, you will need to apply for an intern position at the estate agency. Now the period for an internship is a minimum of 12 months and during this time you will be required to make and maintain the dreaded logbook. The topic of making the logbook is an extremely long process that gives most estate agents nightmares so I won't go into too much of detail about it but essentially it's a portfolio of evidence of all the work you've done through the 12 month period and secondly you will be required to complete an NQF level 4 qualification. You can apply for an exemption of the NQF level 4 if you have the qualification to do so. And lastly, you will need to do the PDE 4 level examination. Wow, okay, so that was quite a mouthful. So once you have been successfully employed as an intern estate agent, you will then need to register as an intern estate agent. This registration is done with the EAAB. Luckily, it is as simple as logging onto their website and filling out their application form. This can be done online. And once you have submitted everything to the EAAB, you'll get your first invoice for your registration fees. Now with any profession, there are fees involved. And these fees will usually vary between between profession, but in the real estate industry, you will be looking around 25,000 Rand. Luckily, this is not something you have to pay upfront, but it is spread over a two year period so you can budget and plan for it. Okay, so that's the whole process in a very condensed nutshell. I know it seems like a lot of information. 
but don't be discouraged. The real estate industry is one of the most rewarding professions to be in. And if you have a passion for property and a passion to help people, then the real estate industry is definitely for you. Now, I know I said in my last video, we have plenty of estate agents. We have plenty of those already, but I want to encourage everyone who's passionate about the industry to apply for their internship to take that step in becoming an estate agent so if there's anything more you'd like to know about becoming an estate agent please leave a comment down below and i'll be sure to answer them thank you so much for watching the video and if you are interested in the real estate industry please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and i'll see you in the next one